Hello y'all. This is Hearts of Ice and Fire, a Hearts of Iron 4 total conversion mod that modernizes the world of Game of Thrones and brings it into Hoi 4. We have two starting scenarios to choose from and they are a Game of Thrones and a Feast for Crows. The second one is more experimental so we're just going to worry about the first one, a Game of Thrones, which starts in 1936. And on the select country screen, we have a number of notable countries and factions and dynasties here. And they are House Tully, Vale of Arryn, House Stark, House Lannister, House Tyrell, House Baratheon, the Principality of Dorne, the Crownlands, House Targaryen, House of Stannis Baratheon, the Night's Watch, House Greyjoy, the Others, aka the White Walkers, House Bolton, and the Free City of Atlantis. I said at the start of this video, this modification modernizes the world of Game of Thrones. And you may ask yourself, what does that mean? Well, for one, the tech level resembles our 1930s and our own timeline. So, for example, the Lannisters here have infantry divisions, armor divisions, and cavalry divisions and they are equipped with basic rifles and just tanks in general and the Lannisters have a nice little unit model that's nice but yeah they have tanks and just standard things from like the interwar era of the 1930s with them and going to the political tab we can see Tywin Lannister is wearing a suit and so is a few other leaders like say Eddard Stark of House Stark and we have anyone else I don't know House Tully maybe there's the Principality of Dorne's leader, Dorne Martell. I don't think he's really wearing a suit and tie, but hopefully you get the idea. And looking at the ideologies now, we have Democratic, Communist, Fascist, and Non-Aligned, so just like Vanilla Hoi 4. But going below that, we have cultural traits in this mod, in Hearts of Ice and Fire. And there is currency, but it seems like a work in progress. We have Origin. And we have Andal for House Lannister. There is a religion system. And we have Stance toward the others, or the White Walkers, going to the tech tree. Now, actually, now go to the decisions. And here we have, we have political actions. There is Unite the Seven Kingdoms, Tyrion Tall Tales, that may be exclusive to House Lannister. And we have prayers to the new gods. And this is about the Seven, the religion of the Andals, or, well, most of Westeros, anyway. This continent here we're looking at, well, landmass, and going to the tech tree, it's just like Vanilla Hoi 4, basically. The Lannisters appear to be using something, I don't know, like, say, what's their tech tree closely resemble? I can't really say. What's the Johnson M41 again? Is it, I mean, they're using Man Litcher M95, so maybe it's, I don't know. I can't say at the top of my head. But yeah, we are using, like, the Vanilla Hoi 4 tree, and let's now see all the factions in the world we just have i think one and that is the northern actually is that the only one i believe it is yeah the only faction in the world starting in 1936 will exist in 1936 is the northern kingdoms union and that is house stark and their well and house car stark and house bolton i think yes no no just them and house mormont then so house stark house Car Stark and House Mormon are in the Northern Kingdom's faction. And now let's go over every country in the world. We'll start in the very north of Westeros. We have the Others, and they're led by the Night King. And they're kind of embargoed by every country in the world. And it should be noted that this mod does have like some placeholder flags for countries, I think, or they just how they're interpreted in the setting. So the Free Folk, for example, are communist in this mod and they use the flag I believe this is communist Denmark but going south now we have Craster's Keep they use Iceland's flag they have something going on with the Night's Watch there's the Night's Watch House Stark House Bolton House Car Stark House Mormont then going more into the center part of Westeros there is less more independent houses and they're more consolidated and we have House Greyjoy and Iron Isles, there's House Tully, Vale of Arryn, the Crownlands, House Tyrell, House Lannister, House Baratheon, the Principality of Dorne, and then there is the House of Stannis Baratheon on Dragonstone, or whatever that island is called. Then going to the south, we have the United Islands, and this is, I think, the Summer Islands. 
And then we got Nath, Nath, which is using a flag of Liberia, I think. And now we have Sotheros, which in the lore of A Song of Ice and Fire is just kind of this place not much information is known about. And I don't think the Sothori Republic exists in the source material, but they're just kind of here. They had the flag of South Africa. And then we have the Basgalus, the Basgalus privateers. I suppose they're like pirates. And then we had the Lizard Tribe, the Lemur Tribe, the Gorilla Tribe, the Bat Tribe, and the Wyvern Tribe. And they're all using flags of different states in our timelines, Africa. Then going to the north, we have the other more, well, well we have the second most well-known continent in A Game of Thrones. And it is Essos. And here we have such places like the Free City of Bravos, the Free City of Norvos, there is the Free City of Lorath. The Free City of Pindos, who's using the Dutch flag for some reason. We have the Free City of Mir, which they have... They're led by King Zog, so this is a song of Zog and Fire now, I suppose. And I believe there are a republic in the lore. King Zog is just kind of there. There is the Free City of Tyrosh. We got the Free City of Lies. The Free City of Atlantis. The Free City of Cohir, and that's all the Free Cities, more or less. Now there is Old Valyria. Is that the flag of Libya? I don't know. There is the Mantari Slaver State. And this is a region in a Song of Ice and Fire in Essos called Astapor, I think, or Marine. Here we have the Slave City of Marine, the Slave City of Yunkai, and the Slave City of Astapor. And going to the north, we have the Dothraki territories like Moro, Kalasar. There's Rokho, Kalasar. There's Umber, which has the flag of Slovakia. Sarnor, they're using the flag of Qatar. There's the Northern Normad, Saudi Arabia, and Game of Thrones, essentially, it looks like, due to their country leader and their flag. We have the Kingdom of Ivan, that's Belarus' flag. Dash Kaleen, House Targaryen, and what is this, the Lazarine Republic. They have the Lebanese flag, Free City of Karth, the Israel flag. The Meraki State can't really say what that flag is for, but they exist. There is now, we're getting into an area where there's a lot of mountains and things like that in Essos. And this is, well, we have Jaco Kassard, but then we have all these mountainous areas like Kalkamaya. These places don't have much lore on them, I think. They're in A Song of Ice and Fire, but in Hearts of Ice and Fire, they are Kaya Kanea, Semarina, Semarina, Baisar Bahad. Maybe, I don't know. Then we have the Realm of Jogwan, the Jogos Nye. There's the Golden Empire of E.T. They're using the flag of Korea. And this is kind of like Game of Thrones is China. There's the Yellow Empire. Is that the flag of fascist in China? I don't know. Here's the Kingdom of Ling. As high. Ra. And this is a really unknown region in A Song of Ice and Fire, generally. So we have Ra, Masovian. So I don't think this is mapped at all in the lore. So maybe the dev of a... Dev, the developer of Hearts of Ice and Fire to Devs, or Dev, did their own stuff here. Then there is Independent Nagui, and Paraguay, for some reason, is the Union of a Thousand Isles, which is just a bunch of islands. And then we have Othos, which looks like, I don't know, Australia's fantasy cousin in terms of how it's shaped, honestly. And we're getting into an area that generally looks like the Pacific. And finally, one little country they probably don't want you to know about, don't want you to know about, and who will be the true winner of a Game of Thrones? Surely, well, the Game of Thrones is the Kingdom of Haiti. And with that, this has been Hearts of Ice and Fire. You can check out the mod in the video description. A link to it is there. What do you think of it? Tell me in the comment section below. And after you do that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications.